Greetings all you heroic vandals and welcome back to Dungeons of Dreadmore, in which the mighty, though somewhat easily duped, Avak shall continue his quest to replace his recently stolen, I emphasize stolen for he certainly didn't accidentally sell it, Ingot Press. Now then, uh, we've explored most of this side of the dungeon so we're going to head to the other side now. I could use this, it might speed things up a bit. Yes, it did. For us all the way down here. Oh, counted. Nice. Bumble person up there. Ooh, you stepped on a trap, you fool. Now that's one nice thing about this. Not all games allow you to... Uh... What did you just do? Not all games let the monsters trigger traps as well, but this one does. Meddling kid. Okay. I uh, still don't know how that, high that's going to be, so I'm probably going to hold off on this until I know it's going to be useful to me. Now then. I think we're going to go for this. The lucky pick. Locked doors pose no impediment to your lucky pick. Yeah, we'll take that. Let's see. What did that actually give us on my character sheet? Uh, trap site. No. Nothing, really. Uh, let's bring up that up again. Oh yeah, it was trap sight and nimbleness. Okay, well hopefully we can now move through doors a little bit easier than having to break my leg kicking them. Wand of la a laser wand, really? My lord, how could I say no? Well, we're not going to be using those. Not if I've got a laser wand. I have stolen a. Ah, oh, I need one of those now. I've stolen a Horadric Lutfisk cube. Ho, ho, ho. Right, we want to open this. I'm going to keep this over here if I can. Basically, anything I don't want goes into the Horadric Lutfisk cube and gets turned into Lutfisk. Be aware, you can end up with more than one of these. And should you be curious enough to wonder, hmm, what would happen if I put a Lutfisk cube into a Lutfisk cube? Stop yourself right there and slap your face in the f slap yourself in the face with a fish. I was going to say, but uh, slap your face with your own face if you really want. I don't know, but uh, yes, yeah, it's it's not a wise thing to do. We'll also get rid of the shiv. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of all of the. No, we'll keep the cheese. We'll get rid of the uh, fungus as well. I think I can stick them in there. Yeah. That makes for easy storage. Uh, well, no, we'll keep hold of the helm of three wood. The wooden sword, though, can go in there as well. Now, see, this is the problem. 904. We'll hold out on that, but if I don't find another ingot press before we clear out this level. I'll come back and I'll pick that up. Right, what else? Got loads of things here. Wow. Hello. Oh, don't be like that. See? Violence begets violence. Pick up some more bolts. And a lever. I hear the sound of machinery somewhere off in the distance, I guess. A modular alchemy kit, I believe, I just picked up there. Oh, damn it, really? Already? Okay, um... What else should I get rid of? Rusty caltrops? I don't need those. Or those. We'll keep the carnelian. Um... I'll drink the potion of Midas. Or Midas. I'm not actually sure how to pronounce that. Now, if you want, you can open up these things. And these are all my various crafting stuff. I can I craft stuff? My lord, really? I had no idea you could do this. But apparently you can. This is the uh, modular alchemy box. I'll stick that up there with my other tools. And you can click on the various things and see what they do. You can make various things. How many... Stuff like I've got enough for copper plate boots. 
Hmm. Really? I should have had a look at this earlier. What else can I craft? If anything. Um, is there a way? Have ingredients. There we go. Also have skills. There we are. And secret recipes. Oh no, okay. Apparently not. We can make a copper ring or the copper plate boots. Well, seeing as we don't have any boots, we may as well. There we go. Yoink. That does lower our nimbleness down a little bit. And also our magic power. And what's this one? Sneakiness. Oh, well, you know, that's going to happen. But it has given us armor absorption, armor... Just armor block chance, and some voltaic resistance, which is pretty nice. Now there's this. I can make brimstone with two diggle eggs. Really? That's pretty cool. I can also make uh, acidium salis, oil of vitriol, salt. What can I make with this? I can make some bolts. Oh, that's pretty neat. Now, encrusting. It looks like... Ah, I see. How about that? Okay, I've got some skills. I wonder. I can make a polymer shell. The pride of dwarven plastic smiths. This garish polymer shell is unlikely to impress, improve the offensive capabilities of your weapon, but may help you block incoming attacks. Oh, this is fantastic. I had no idea that you could do this. This is really, really cool. Um, copper plating. What about this one? This one can improve seemingly useless mechanism. How do they work? They don't even connect to anything. I will have to have a keep uh, an eye open for that. I had no idea you could do that. I've never seen that before. It's either added by one of the, the DLCs or the... Um, just a, an update or something since the last time I played. Oh, there we are. No. Oh, there is something there. What is it? I'm not sure. Wow. The Restful Penguin. That's actually quite a decent mace, honestly. However, I am not uh, skilled in mace use, so we're going to be passing that up. I'm not going to be passing up an emerald, though. An easy target curse trap. Damn it! Stop doing this to me, inventory! Why? I've been such a good master to you all these years. I will get rid of some of these traps. I was going to sell them, but... That one is probably a better trap. Or at least more valuable. Oh, hello. Ah... Uh, that's right. These are often, uh, there's often a choice on which one you open. Fair enough. We kind of uh, passed up the ability to get into the other side there. Right then. Now, on the plus side, we're getting through all of those doors now. Take you out, and you. Wow, have I basically got infinite lockpicks now or something, or is it just doors? I'm going to have to check that chest that was uh, locked up at the top over there somewhere. This one? No. <laughs> okay, well, that answered the question then, I suppose. Right. Why? Why do you all march to your doom? It didn't have to be this way, you know. Well, it had to be this way with you, but... Right. What's that? Chalked scroll. It says fish in a very long and narrow barrel. Okay. You have stolen some more baseballs and some more bolts. Of course, I. Ah, damn it, really? Are they on the floor? Yes, they are. Oh, hello. Alright, let's get rid of those caltrops. I really need to get up to uh, the merchant and sell some of this crap. Oh, really? 
I shouldn't have pulled that lever. I should have heed the warning of that. But uh, he seems to have uh, come to his senses a little too late, unfortunately. But coming to them, he did. Hello. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. I'm going to have to murder more children. Turn them into omelets. I'm not sure my conscience can take this sort of abuse. How about you? No, you're also locked. There is a fountain, however, and I shall drink from it. The water tastes foul. You feel sick. No. Lingering weakness. I believe my health regen is down. Well, I didn't have any health regen anyway, so fine. Another helm of three wood. I'm collecting them at the moment, it seems. Warning, read book. This is a test of the emergency dungeon warning system. This is only a test. Had this been a real emergency, you would be dead now. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, that's take you on. Yay, our special ability prop. Now then. Leather belt. Well, we don't have a belt, so it's going to be better than what we've got. Um, actually, I'm going to walk back. I can just use the teleporter to get back where I came from. It just occurred to me. Bloody long walk, mind. Pardon me. Come hither. No. Is the upper chest open now? Yes, it is. Oh my lord. The destroyer of radishes. This shield looks like it was beaten and bruised out of fire, out of fine silver. It is studded with frozen sunlight. That's rather poetic. Okay, well, the thing is, I'm probably going to lose some damage with this, but that looks like a much better shield. I, yeah, I lose a fair bit of damage, but a lot of my stats go up as a result of this. So my sneakiness actually goes down. But no, we're going to keep it. We accept. I'm going to eat that. Right, there we go. Ow. Shouldn't have walked over that. Right then. I need to go this way. Why does this take so long? And I can actually fight you. Yeah, okay. Siegfried, you've met your match. I feel kind of bad for doing this to you, but only a little. Well, uh, again, we've put him out of his misery as well, because he was trapped in that form. Hello, you filthy... Ugh. There are words for people like you who steal a man's ingot press. None of them are fit for repeating on this channel. Right, we're going to sell that, sell the emerald, the mace, um, we'll sell the traps. I have 107 Zork wins, it's actually quite, whoa my lord, that's 928 Zork wins. Look at it, 4089 Zork wins now. How glorious. Uh, we'll get rid of that spear as well. Um, no, we're going to keep the Pan Galactic Gargle Blaster. In fact, that's going on my quick bar. Uh, any other bolts that I can flog? Yeah, okay, the bone bolts, we'll get rid of those as well. I don't use the bolts enough to really warrant carrying them around, considering how much room they take up. Because there are so very many of them. We'll get rid of that too. And this. The Potion of Healing will keep on our hot bar though. And that appears to be good enough. We're up to five grand. Wow, what can I afford for five grand? Nothing. I, I only want this. Damn it. Okay. I'll be back. Do not sell that sword to anyone else. Where will this one take me? Oh lord. It has taken me to a very bad place. Hello, evil potato. 
and Amazonian bumble person. Okay, this isn't so bad. No, that wasn't too bad at all. That could have gone much worse. Icically wand. Okay. And a handheld weapon shrine? Oh no. Boomerangs. We've stolen a boomerang. Well done, me. A bookshelf. We have learnt how to make conceptual reinforcement. Oh, okay. Out of Lederhosen, a starry orb. Absinthe. Two absinthe. Wow, okay. That will be a while before we are even remotely capable of crafting that. What's this? A dire sandwich. Oh, we'll take that. And there's something up behind you. Oh, picks. Fantastic. There are a lot of places that I can now open the chests in. In fact, one of them is down here. Let's go and find it. Uh, I really hope I'm not using up my lockpicks for this. I bet I am. Hello, bat. Uh, yes, that's bad. Once again, let us refresh ourselves. Ah, we actually do feel refreshed. Fantastic. Can I go that way? No. Okay. I wish there was a run button in this, honestly. Alright, so what else are we going to find? Oh, the Statue of Inconsequentia. I love the fact that they called the quest giver, the side quest giver in this, Inconsequentia. Pray to Inconsequentia, the goddess of side quests? Yay. Of course, yay. The magical artifact, Un, the oblong beating, has been lost. Will you seek it? Verily. Let us go forth and seek Ung. Oh. Ah, okay. That worked. Let me in. I have a chest to pillage. Where are you, chest? Now to remember. Oh, there we are. Are you the chest I was looking for? Yes, you are. Oh, that's actually quite cool. Let's see. We've got a foppish tunic. How could I say no? I mean, we've got a fine linen shirt, and that's nice, but a foppish tunic? Actually, it's, uh, it is actually better anyway. Oh, okay. I would have put you on even if you weren't foppish tunic. I really regret that uh, the main character's appearance doesn't change with the things that he wears. That is really a shame. Oh, a potion of radiance. I think that was part of a uh, recipe I have. Okay, I... Fairly sure I've been down there. We don't need to go there again. The Diggle flew once again, my lord. I thought my constitution was rather hardy, but apparently not. I'm picking up all sorts of things. Oh, is there anything down here that I missed? No. Okay. I want that chest. I know there's one, and I don't want to end up wasting my lock picks. On doors, because I've got a sneaking suspicion I am actually using them on doors. So I'm just going to quickly look through the areas I've been. An ostentatious tunic! Dear me. It's like this game knows me. Two, one. Okay, that's, that's really much better. We'll take. Yeah. <laughs> Our caddishness has gone up. Caddishness is the primary attribute of the cad... Oh, no, of the pirate. And revolves around not caring about the feelings of others. It affects critical hit and counter attack chance. Very well. I approve. Uh, did we find any chests down here, I wonder? Any special hidden awesome chests? Uh, there's probably something up in that little room there, but I can't get past that trap yet. Perhaps later. Alright. The long walk begins again. Now, oh, were there any... No, that's a dead end there. Anything at all? That may have been the only chest that I couldn't open, but I'll just double check rather than... Uh, regret it later. And as you can see, monsters do respawn, so you can grind on a level, but I don't recommend it. Typically, if you've cleared out a level and thus are resorting to grinding on that level, you're already powerful enough to go to the next level down. 
unless you've been really unlucky for some reason, there's, there's very rarely a time where grinding on the level you're on will actually be better than just, you know, dipping down to the next one and killing a couple of monsters. Right, well, let's go this way this time. Hello, Caltrops. I almost missed you there. I'm liking that counter-attack chance. Oh, almost went through that. Hello? Hello? No. I can... Ah! Balls, is it? Uh, well, at least we're close to the shop. If I can, I will be taking that sword with me to the next level. I don't intend to turn my nose up at that sort of thing. It doesn't show up too often. Right, what have we got to sell? We've got the Toxic Gas Spray. I'll sell that. The Foppish Tunic. The Helm of Threepwood, of which there are many. Basically all of those. The Boomerangs. A thousand for this wand. Yeah, I don't use wands enough. Uh, burnt Out Wand. The Mushrooms. You can actually get some really good mushrooms. That gives startlingly awesome effects, but... Uh, I'm, I've never really written it down or learned what they are, so uh, it would be a risk if I were even to try. We're up to eight grand. That is fantastic. Let's open that up again, though. I'll be back. Keep that sword, dude. If I get the money and I return, he stole that sword. I, well, no, I wouldn't do anything to him because he is a tank. He would utterly annihilate me. In fact, I'm very sure he could kill me for just thinking about attacking him. Oh, hello, traps. My lord, this room is, uh... Thank goodness I wasn't standing there. As you can see, you can end up, uh, getting caught off guard by that. Crude maze. And that is sometimes quite useful, using those, uh, gargoyle arrow traps to kill... Basically, find something that'll follow you. The the trap down there, you, I could get into that room, but getting back out of it would be the problem. In that you can get like a diggle or something to follow you, and then walk up and down the path, so the diggle is behind you when you step on the trap, and that's the diggle who is the one who gets a face full of poison arrow. Uh, nothing. More traps, my lord. The floor is particularly trap heavy. Heavier than it, it used to be. Oh, damn it. Ragged old rug. It's a ragged old rug. Best let it be. No. I want I want to take it. Let me take the uh Oh well. Oh. Oh yay! I counterattacked and leveled up. Now finally I'm fairly certain that I can animate a mustache. Ah, oh, glory! We are now significantly harder to kill. You might not think a moustache would make this much difference, but it does, let me tell you. Right, bookshelf, what have we got in here? Got an Imperial Clockwork Helm. Awesome, because it's got the word Imperial in it. A Clockwork Rail lo what? A Clockwork Bolt Thrower, plus an Etheric Power Cylinder, and a self-sealing stem bolt, and a slotted bronze disc, will make what was the equivalent of a railgun crossbow. Rubber pants? <laughs> Come now. I'm not that sort of person. Oh, another shop. Oh my lord. This one's huge. Hmm, have you got any good sword? The three-pronged sword. Eh, that's nowhere near as good as the other one. However, you've got some nice rings. That one actually gives health regen. How much is my health regen at the moment? I don't have any health regen at the moment. That would give me the ability to naturally restore my health. That is almost worth it. The Mask of the Golden God. 62,000 Zork Mins. While I let the shock sink in from that astronomically high price, I will wrap the episode up here. In this episode, we've managed to cover a little bit more ground on this level. We found another shop, and we've made quite a lot of progress towards being able to buy that fantastic sword. But there is still much to explore of this floor before we venture down to the floor below. 
And of course, there's still that business of lacking an ingot press. But that can all wait for the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I hope you'll join me for the next. But until then, do take care.